here are the best Autism Ear Defender headphones. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan, I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos on this type of content. So if you're brand new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking that notification bell down below. If you're watching over on Facebook, make sure to give this page a follow to see more videos. And if you're watching on Instagram, make sure to follow this account for more autism content. So, with that being said, guys, welcome to the Aspie world. What's going on? The place where we think differently daily. What is up, my different thinker fam? You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that I have a free PDF, Autism Life Hacks book that you can download from autismhacks.net right now. Okay, so um, basically, um, I get a lot of questions a lot of the time. So parents um, and people who are concerned with sensory processing disorder always ask me questions on ear defending and ear defenders, etc. for people on the autism spectrum. Now you may be wondering, Dan, why has ear defenders got anything to do with autism? Well, because you asked so nicely, the reason is that sensory processing disorder comes hand in hand with autism. Like I did a video on like different types of um, traits and, and stuff of autism and sensory processing disorder is part of the autism diagnosis due to the fact of the sensitivity to light, sound, smell, all this kind of stuff. So being no exception to sensory processing disorder is sound. So sounds can rock people, uh, you know, the wrong way. You know, you could listen to a sound and it might make you feel sick. A sound may be too overpowering, maybe too low. You may be oversensitive, undersensitive to sound, but a lot of the time, a lot of autistic people are oversensitive to sound. But that being said, sometimes you just want to block out that noise so that you can just chill and focus because it's very triggering, it can cause meltdowns. And anybody watching this right now, parents especially, who understand what I mean, yeah, you don't want to have uh, meltdowns because of sounds. So, how do we combat this? Now there are a few ways that we can do this. One way is that we can just put our fingers in our ears and put our hands over our ears like this. And that sometimes can work, but practically that's not gonna work. So I have with me, I have um, some ear defenders. So I have um, two ear defenders. I'm gonna talk about three ear defenders here, but I have two of them here and then the other one I'll just talk about. So basically, what we're going to show you here now is, uh, is some ear defenders. So, I'm, oh, I'm going to start off with the first ones here, and I'm also going to take um, some cutaways with my iPhone that you guys can see. So, uh, the first ones here are these Apple AirPods. Now, these things are super, super awesome. They're very small. They fit in this little compact case, and they're very small. They're just these little tiny AirPods. Now, the interesting thing about the AirPods is that they're just so compact, they're absolutely brilliant. You can just, like, literally pop them in this, like, tiny little matchbox case, um, and they charge, this is a charging case as well, so you pop them in this little tiny case and then you can uh, take them around the world with you, it just slips in your back pocket, hey presto, look at that, tiny, tiny, awesome, lovely little case and it charges them as well, which I really do love. Now, these little bad boys are so unique because there's a tiny button here at the side that you can click in, right? And this button actually helps you um, stop uh, outside noise. So this is actually noise cancelling. Now, when you put these in, if you click this button, you can actually activate the noise cancellation feature, which basically sucks out all the noise from around you and completely makes it silent. So it's kind of like earmuffs. So you, you can put them in and have them as normal headphones or wireless headphones, whatever, that's great. But then you can just flick a button and it sucks all the air out and then uh, all the noise out of the air and then what you're left with is just like a complete silence. This is amazing. Now I've used these on a plane to Los Angeles for 10 hours, right? Um, and they were just incredible because of these, the, you know, the quality of these versus the size of them and the compact, um, you know, the easeability of using this thing, um, very, very good, highly recommended. But they're a bit expensive. They're about 260 pounds or $260 roughly. Um, and they're just a little bit expensive. But then again, you get what you pay for at the end of the day. So if you want something to last you a long time, then well, these ones are definitely ones to, uh, to go for. Now, moving on, um, is keeping in, uh, uh, yeah, was well, keeping in in, in, in theme with the, the, the noise cancelling headphones, I actually have these as well. So these are Bose headphones. Now, uh, the Bose headphones uh, come in a snazzy case, which I'm going to show you right now. And uh, this case actually uh, provides, it's like a, I think it's like a leather bound case. I think it's real leather. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not excessively happy since I'm vegan, but whatever. Um, but these are made by Bose. Now, Bose are a really good electronics make, and um, they come with all the wiring and stuff you need. And this cool thing for an airplane, if you want to plug them into the thing in the airplane, which is cool. But 
This is them, they're foldable, they're collapsible, and they're just so good. Right, these are the Bose headphones, right? So this is what they look like, and that little switch on the side there stops uh, the, it, well it turns them on and actually activates the noise cancelling feature. So you can use these as passive headphones, you can put in like a, a lead there and listen, like a cable, and you can listen to just typically, use them as, you know, just normal headphones, but if you want to uh, use the noise cancelling feature, you just flick that switch, boom, they've got noise cancelling that comes on automatically, and these are very impressive. Now, they're so impressive actually, it, that it's, it's ridiculous how good these are. I used it, these on a plane back in 2019, again when I went to Los Angeles, um, sorry, back, back in 2018 when I was going to Los Angeles, uh, it was a 10 or 11 hour flight, and these things just absolutely just nailed it. They're so comfy, um, they're, they, they really, really are squishy around the side, so they're very, very comfy for, for your head. Oh, I almost knocked myself out then. Um, and, and in comparison to these, okay, so size-wise, this one wins. But user functionality, this one wins. These are better at cancelling noise than these ones. So if you're looking at something that's going to really completely kind of, you know, noise cancelling feature, which is super dope, these ones are your boys. Um, these ones are good, but they're not as good as these ones. So uh, my recommendation for our, the two, these two here, I would say that it depends what you're kind of going for. These are cool if you like day to day want to get rid of sound noise cancelling, and these are cool if you want to go on a plane um, and go long distances and, and all that kind of stuff in like really loud places. Now the price difference. These ones are about £350, like $300 roughly, I guess. Um, and then these ones are about $100, £100 cheaper. Um, but still very expensive, but again, they're very quality. Um, they're, they are quality. Now, the third pair of headphones that I wanted to talk about was typically ear defenders for children. Now, you can buy child ear defenders on Amazon, which I will leave a, a link for everything I'm talking about in the description down below. And I'll put a picture on screen here of what the actual headphones that I'm talking about are. Um, and these are child um, earmuffs that look similar to the Bose, but they're actually just, they're just, they're not headphones, they're just, just earmuffs. And you put them on and then they block out all the sound. Kind of like what you'd see in a construction site. But the good thing is, they make these for children in children's colors and children's sizes and they're highly effective. Now if you've got a child who doesn't really want to wear headphones but they want to block out noise and they don't want to have all this fancy tech and you don't want to spend you know two three hundred dollars on stuff like that you can spend like ten bucks or ten pounds on these uh, like ear defending uh, I don't know just passive kind of ear defenders but they actually work very well because they're obviously you know industry standard. So there are some choices for you. Now if you think you have any others to add to this list please pop it in a comment down below I read every one. If you think this added value to somebody, please share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.